Welcome to the easy to do home carpet repair instructional video. In this video, we will teach you the techniques needed to patch any carpet damage. First, we are going to cut out the stain, but it is important that our cuts are perfectly straight. To do this, we will use two techniques. First, along the length of the carpet, use a row separator like a pen or an awl to expose a straight line that we can cut. Then use a seam cutter to make the first cut. A seam cutter has blades on both sides. Extend the blade that faces the side of the carpet that you intend on keeping. Repeat this process for both length cuts. Then use a carpet knife to cut down the middle of your patch. This will allow access to the bottom of the carpet, which is necessary for width cuts. Using a row separator will not work for width cuts. Instead, use a square to make sure the width cuts are straight and square. Do this for both width cuts. Make sure to line up your square with your length cut and use a carpet knife to make the cut. Fold your carpet back into place and you are left with a rectangular hole with perfectly straight edges. It is important to note your length cuts will extend past your width cuts. This is the correct method and will be valuable when we get to the seaming section of this video. You now have a hole that is straight and square. Now you need a patch that is cut to size and also has perfectly straight edges. To do this, use the same techniques. Use a row separator for the length cuts and a seam cutter with the blade on the side of the carpet you intend on keeping and make a nice straight cut. Then measure the gap and use this measurement to make the other length cut. Now check your cut. Put the patch into place and make sure it fits. Also at this time, make sure the new patch is facing the same direction as the carpet. Do this by running your hand along the nap of the carpet and make sure both pieces lay the same direction. If you do not do this, and you install the carpet facing the wrong direction, the two pieces will not match and may even appear to be different colors. Now onto the width cuts. Flip the patch over and using a square, cut one edge, making it perfectly straight. Then set the patch back into place. Make sure you have a snug fit on your three cut edges. Now, with the patch in place, you will mark the patch for your fourth cut. To do this, start by trimming the patch to make it easier to work with. Then, expose the hole beneath and set your carpet knife into the corner. Place the carpet patch back down, and then carefully pull your carpet knife up, cutting the patch. This will be your first mark. When making any cuts with your carpet knife, Take caution. The carpet knife is sharp and can cut you very easily. Use the same technique to mark the other side. Place your knife in the corner and cut your patch. Double check to make sure your marks are right and then flip your patch over and using your square as a guide, connect the marks. Now set the patch back into place and check that it fits perfectly. You are now ready to seam the patch permanently into place. To do this, you will use seam tape. Start by setting four pieces of seam tape, one along each edge. Line up the center line of the seam tape with the edge of the carpet. And at the corners where the seam tape crosses, remove the paper edge of your seam tape. This will create a continuous band of glue around the edges. Begin seaming in this corner. 
seam the length side, then each width side, and then end with the other length side. Based on the starting corner, remove this piece of seam tape. Now place your patch into position. You are now ready to seam your edges. We recommend viewing the carpet seaming chapter, which can be found on the Easy To Do Home Carpet Installation DVD or at easytodohome.com. Okay, let's seam those edges. Start by using a seam sealer to seal all of your edges. This will ensure that your edges will not fall apart before or after the seaming process. Now, using the techniques you learned in the seaming chapter, and starting at the corner we mentioned earlier in this video, begin to seam your first edge. Also, take caution. The seaming iron is hot and will burn you if you are not careful. Allow your iron to sit on the glue for 30 seconds before moving it. Then use a tractor and some weight to hold the seam in place. Work all the way to the far end of your first edge. Then carefully slide your iron from underneath the carpet. Now make sure your seam lines up properly. Set your weight and allow it to sit for five minutes. Then move on to your next edge. At the end of this edge, you will also slide the iron out from under the carpet. If your seam tape moves while doing this, simply use an awl to push it back into place. Then line up your edges and complete your seam. Once again, allow this to dry before moving on. Then begin your third edge. Replace the seam tape you removed earlier. Then slide your iron into place and complete this seam as you did the first two. Be careful to make sure your seam lines up and that no carpet threads get stuck in the seam. Now set your weight and allow your seam to dry for five minutes. Now move on to the final seam. Work your seaming iron into place, being careful not to let the iron touch the carpet. Move it to the far end and then work the seam from that end to the final corner. Once you reach the final corner, let the iron sit for 30 seconds and then carefully slide it backwards and slide it out from underneath your carpet. Now check your seams. Make sure they line up perfectly and make sure there are no carpet threads caught in the seam. Finish your seam like the others and you are just about finished. Once your seam is dry, take a pair of scissors and cut any loose strings or threads that may be sticking out of your seams. When you're done patching your carpet, you may notice a slight color variation from your new patch to your old carpet. Over time, this color variation will fade away, and if done properly, no one will be able to notice that you had patched your carpet in this place. Thank you again for watching this easy to do home instructional video. And if you are interested in finding out more about this subject or any other home improvement project, you can find many instructional DVDs and digital downloads at easytodohome.com.